<laughs> Whereas St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland, was a missionary that traveled throughout Ireland spreading Christianity. It is believed that St. Patrick passed away on March 17, 461 AD. Therefore, in honor of his memory, March 17 became known as St. Patrick's Day. Whereas in 1845, Ireland became plagued by famine, resulting in the immigration of over one million Irish people to the United States, bringing with them the tradition of St. Patrick's Day. And while St. Patrick's Day was celebrated exclusively as a religious holiday in Ireland, in the United States, St. Patrick's Day evolved into a celebration of Irish culture and tradition observed by parades and other festivities, and even in the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District uh, <laughs> Commissioner's Office. Uh, whereas the earliest recognized celebration of St. Patrick's Day in the United States was on March 17, 1601, in modern day St. Augustine, Florida, the festivities were organized by Irish vicar Ricardo Artur. While paling in comparison to celebrations held today, this initial recognition of Irish heritage paved the way for acceptance of this Irish holiday in the United States. And whereas, according to the 2019 census estimates, Cook County is home to more than 400,338, 350 Irish Americans, the largest of any county in the United States. Get it, a round of applause for that. <laughs> Whereas the mission of Chicago Gaelic Park is to perpetuate and promote Irish culture through sport, music, dance, and theater, with traditional Irish sporting events hosted at Chicago Gaelic Park, attracting visitors from all over the world. Chicago Gaelic Park sitting on approximately 53 acres of land, making it the largest Irish center in North America. Chicago Gaelic Park houses a banquet facility and an outdoor entertainment compound, as well as the Carrick Pub, a traditional Irish pub that has a reputation for having the best Guinness outside of Dublin, Ireland. Now that is a bold statement. Uh, uh, the facility is also home to Gaelic Park Players, a renowned traveling theater group, and the Irish American Heritage Center, established in the building of what used to be a school, and with the help of fine tradesmen and women, transformed the facility it is today, utilizing an entire city block. And in 1991, Mary Robinson, then president of Ireland, opened the Museum of the Irish American Heritage Center and later founded the Irish American Heritage Center Art Gallery in 1992. And in 2003, Mary McAleese, then president of Ireland, opened the library of the Irish American Heritage Center. And whereas both Chicago Gaelic Park and the Irish American Heritage Center achieved their mission to sh serve Chicagoland's Irish community through the stewardship of their volunteer boards, led by Chicago Pre Park President Bill O'Sullivan <laughs> and Irish American Heritage Center President Tony McHale Tony. and Executive Director Meg Buchanan. Therefore, be it resolved that we, the Board of the Commissioners of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago, on behalf of ourselves and our staff, do hereby recognize St. Patrick's Day and honor Chicago Gaelic Park and the Irish American Heritage Center. Be it further resolved that this resolution be spread upon the permanent record of the proceedings of the Board of Commissioners of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago, and that a copy of the same, suitably engrossed, be presented to the Chicago Gaelic Park and the Irish American Heritage Center. Teresa Flynn, thank you so much! Thank you again. Now you know why I chose. <laughs> <laughs> no one will go to sleep listening to Dan. It won't be allowed.